And when you were talking before, you were saying that your business was flourishing, but you were going through all this stuff with your relationships. Like, how Mm -hmm. did you see your worth enough to have your business be as successful as it was? And in like in contrast, your relationships, Mm -hmm. it wasn't there in the same way. Like, like, talk to me about that. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I wrote the book from broken woman to business woman, because I don't think that we talk enough about the trauma as an entrepreneur. I Mm. think that um, I know a lot of people hear the money, six figures, the money, getting to the money. And then when they get all the money, they're like, man, something missing. Like they're not happy. Do you see how many millionaires, and billionaires have committed suicide? Yeah. Because a lot of things wasn't dealt with. Wow. The past wasn't dealt with. Childhood wasn't dealt with. So you're almost things, like suppressing it and putting all of your energy into your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had when I when I left um, the house at the age of eighteen, it was oh yeah, I'm just going to go to Harvard. And I was talking to this guy that had plenty of money, mm-hmm. and I was just like, you know what, this is what I'm going to do, get these degrees, get these college degrees, you know, this is what's going to help me, you know what I'm saying, overcome and become this woman that arrived because of my past and not really dealing with it. But anyway, I ended up getting into a car accident. So that's the reason why I came back here. But um, I had to write a letter to that younger girl. I had to go back. Not only with the self love, but I say you gotta deal with this. Yeah. What happened? Go back to that younger girl and I have to write a letter to her. And I actually did a blog on it. I'll send it to you. And I had to let the old person die in order for the new person to be reborn. That's dope. And that old girl was hurt. She was broken. Yeah. She was born for a reason. Um, She was, all of these things, she was torn. She didn't feel like she belonged in this world. So I had to talk to her and tell her that when you was a child, nothing was your fault. Mm -hmm. I had to get it out and I had to release her. Yeah. Even that 22-year-old girl. Like, I'm 30, I was 35 when I started doing all this. And so I had to release all of these. Like, you're not the same girl you was when you was 22. You're not the right. same girl you was when you was 25. 